Hi there! Welcome to another session of Learn with Eden. Have you ever found yourself in a place with no clean drinking water? All you have is just water looking like this? Maybe from a river nearby. What do we do in such a situation? That brings us to our topic for today, water purification. What is water purification? Water purification is the process of making water fit for drinking. In other words, I'm simply saying that it is the process of making water that looks like this become like this. Yes, making it become something we can drink. What are the methods of purifying water? We'll discuss five in today's lesson. Sedimentation, filtration, chlorination, boiling and distillation. Let's start with sedimentation. What this simply means is that we get a water that looks cloudy like the one we saw before, water with tiny particles floating all over in it, and then we'll allow the water rest for some time for these particles to settle down at the bottom of the bucket or of the container. So sedimentation is simply the process of allowing particles in water to settle at the bottom of the container. Imagine we go to that river and get a full bucket of water looking like this. We can leave the water for a whole day, perhaps 24 hours. By the time we come back, we'll see the dirt that makes the water cloudy. They will all be settled at the bottom and then the water at the top will look clear. If you don't want to wait for that long, for a whole 24 hours, then you can simply use alum. You can add either powdered alum or crystal alum to the water. In less than an hour, the sediments will become very visible at the bottom of the bucket. This is so because the alum brings about what is called coagulation. Coagulation is simply the process of bringing those tiny particles together, making them form larger particles which become heavy and then fall down to the bottom of the bucket. So it makes the process fast. So that's sedimentation for you. With sedimentation, you allow the water to settle and then you have the particles at the bottom and the clear water at the top. The next thing you can do Oh, before we talk about the next thing, you can take a moment to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button just down below. That will mean a lot to me. And it will help you to get notifications whenever I post new videos just like this. So let's go to the number two process, filtration. After you've poured out the clear water from the buckets, leaving just the sediments behind, that water you poured off or you poured out can also be filtered to make the water appear clearer or cleaner. Now you can filter using a paper towel, a coffee filter, or you can simply use cloth. Like what you are seeing here, you have a cloth wrapped over the top of an empty bucket. So that water is poured through the cloth into the empty bucket. The dirt will be trapped in the cloth and then the clean water goes down into the bucket. So we have a clean looking water now. But does that mean that the water is ready for drinking? Nah, not yet, because there could be germs in the water. Now, how do we get rid of those germs? This brings us to the number three method, which is chlorination. Chlorine is a chemical that helps to kill germs. So you can add a few drops of chlorine to the water and then let it settle for some minutes, about 30 minutes to there about, and it's ready for drinking. But if you don't have chlorine, you can use the fourth method, which is boiling. Once you boil the water, most of the germs will be gone and then your water is safe for drinking. The fifth method is not commonly used to treat drinking water. It's used to treat um, water for special purposes mainly, like um, medical uses and some other special uses like cosmetics and thereabout. What is this method about? It's called distillation. Distillation is the process of heating water up to the extent that it boils and forms vapor. Now vapor simply means water in the form of gas. This gas goes up and then is collected in a different container in which it is cooled. Once the gas is cooled, it turns back into liquid. This process continues until 
you have all the pure water in a separate container like the one we see on the right hand side of the screen and then the impurities will be left in the container that is being heated like the one you see on the right hand side of the screen so these are five methods that um, are actually used to purify water if we get stranded and there's no clean water we're stuck with dirty ones then we can look for a way to survive by purifying them so fine because of our lesson we've discussed five methods of purifying water sedimentation filtration chlorination boiling and distillation you can let me know in the comment section below which of the methods is your favorite and which one you've tried see you next time on learn with eden bye